at the Atlanta 11-yard line. Cleveland Gary, nice opening off the right side. He picked up about four. And you see how Cleveland is protecting the football as he goes through the line of scrimmage now. A lot of people are saying, hey, why doesn't he hold on with the football with both hands all the time? And Coach John Robinson said, I know those two-handed running backs look good, you know, uh, look really nice getting up off the ground after a two-yard gain. And he says Cleveland Gary is going to be a great running back, he feels, but he's got to get back to where he feels comfortable, be able to put one arm out there for a stiff arm or put the moves on, whatever. But right now he's a little shaky because he's dropped it so many times this year. He stays in there as the tailback in the eye. McGee in motion. Gary again. Heads for the corner. Touchdown. He held out of that one and took it seven yards for the score. And this field, this track today is really a Cleveland Gary type track. You know, a guy that's built low to the ground, a low center of gravity. You saw him just lean when he got close to the end zone and just powered it on in. It's not the kind of feel for a cutback guy today. The feel is damp and mushy. Weak side pull here. Guy's coming out. Now Gary's going to go out around that corner then get on into the end zone. You got the backside guard and tackle pulling on the counter OT. Good blocking out front by Duval Love and Jackie Slater. And then Cleveland Gary with the little inside fake move there and takes it on in for the six points. And then the replay while you were talking, Dan. So we've got another look <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> Cleveland Gary, Scott Case, and Deion Sanders, the guys that try to force well, collar him there. Yeah, see, the thing they're looking at is whether or not he crossed the goal line. Keep in mind that the goal line is actually the front of that white line and not the rear of it. That is once you get into that the uh, green grass up in the end zone. It's the front. If a pane of glass goes straight up from the front of that white line and you cross over that, you, you got a touchdown. If this touchdown holds, it'll be the first points allowed in a first quarter by Atlanta in 10 games, 10 straight. They've gone nine weeks without allowing any points. And if that touchdown holds, it comes with 22 seconds to go in the first quarter. So they almost continue that statistic. Yeah, the first quarter hasn't been their problem. It's been the other three. You're right. 